Should I lift? I don't know. Uh, turning radius. Uh. <laughs> okay, oh, we're doing 120 true foxhole. Oh my god! 130! <laughs> I should break. I'm gonna break just for the sake of safety. <laughs> Good morning comrades, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Nürburgring and you can already probably see the huge smile on my face because we're going out in something very very special, namely this Lada Niva. Now last year I already been out in a Niva which is owned by Zina, a local girl from the Nürburgring but I was on the passenger seat, but this time owner of this particular car DM me on Instagram who actually has a quite a nice collection of supercars and he went all the way to Budapest from UK to buy this because he always wanted to have a Niva I completely understand him so before we're gonna go and do a lap which is gonna be probably one of the slowest laps ever except for the lap with the tuk-tuk of course uh, let's have a look on its on the outside because look at the amount of details it is absolutely mind-blowing the car has been built fresh i really love these led dark headlights with additional uh, daytime running leds then we have uh, here a winch um, this is covered up so no uh, water is going to go into the engine bay a snorkel more leds and uh, emergency equipment on the top this is by the way the previous owner that you can check out his instagram lots of cool pictures there um, everything is just so so clean we have here a shovel in case we need to dig ourselves out of the i don't know gravel and armberg probably not hopefully the brace won't fail on us you can see it's a kind of a restyling version or like more modern with the steering wheel is pretty modern i mean yeah the speedometer it has an immobilizer very important of course the the gearbox the um, the differential so currently it's unlocked we could lock it but i don't think we're gonna do anything crazy and uh, low low gear high gear I believe yeah for the diff and um, for the rest it's just again so beautiful so spacious so amazing so I guess let's hop in and do a lap <laughs> I'm excited I'm very excited so one more time massive thank you to its new owner for allowing me to take it for a spin oh yeah and also it being raced and on off-road tires should be uh, quite an interesting experience Welcome onto the <laughs> track. <laughs> I cannot believe I'm doing this. This is amazing. So the first thing which confuses me as an old school Russian, how come this car has power windows? This is weird. Hallo. Hast du gesehen, da steht auch ein alter. Ja. Ah ja ja. Kollege von uns. Ja ja, kenn ich. Ja ja. Danke dir. Yo, cheers. <laughs> yeah, so first impressions about the car. <laughs> Marshall's appreciate it, everyone appreciates it. I'm pretty sure this car will get more views than like in a car park than any GT3 RS. Should we close the window? On the other hand, it's nice and fresh outside, and it's also uh, the car has no air conditioning. Obviously, it does have power windows. What I like about it is that the whoa that's like very small <laughs> turning radius once you kick again okay we keep it in second gear uh, let's see well, in case you want to know the lap time I suggest you get your calendars out because normal stopwatch is going to be too fast <laughs> will we go 100 kilometers per hour let's put it on, on hot on cold air I think that's how it works I don't know. Uh, all right, we didn't make it 100. We didn't do 100 kilometers per hour before the compression, but we're still keeping it flat in third gear, not even fourth. Amazing. Keeping it flat towards here, Hohen Ranch again. Um, I don't know. Should I downshift? <laughs> Let's take the full on the curb. Wee. <laughs> Should I lift? I don't know. Ah, turning radius. Ah. <laughs> oh, yellow. No. Where's the emergency light on this thing? Uh, I don't even know. Hmm. Well, it's an interesting experience for sure. 
Right, going into Sabina Schmidt's curve, unfortunately it's yellow. <laughs> the first impressions are just amazing. It's <laughs> the best laps you're always having are with the cars that you shouldn't be driving on track. So we have here another Marshall point. I don't see any accidents, so probably it is good as is. Let the cars behind us pass them, let them pass. You can go, and then there's one more. Whee. Okay, flat out. Still third gear. I think the whole track you we can do in third gear. I wonder if we will ever reach 100 kilometer mark with this car. <laughs> it's probably not a good idea. I also didn't break once. Well, I did for the Marshall Post. Let's take the curb, pull on the curb, maybe even a bit of grass. Just the curb. <laughs> bit of curb here, bit of curb here. Why is there no photographer? This is the most curb I'll ever take. <laughs> oh, there was a photographer. I hope we have a nice picture. Okay, extra curb. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you could see my face right now. Oh, my head is hurting from smiling. <laughs> oh, they turn the lights on, by the way. You think maybe it's good? Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. He forgot to switch off his hazard lights. <laughs> no! Well, well, that's convenient. You don't even have to go on the brakes for flick plants because the car just slows down by itself and we're doing 80 kilometers per hour using all of the line. One more car behind us. Oh no, there's another another yellow. How inconvenient. Oh, I guess we're not gonna reach 200,000 kilometers per hour in Schwedenkreuz with this car. <sighs> well, it's also convenient that there's an old school parking spot here where people can just go and park. In the past, you could actually park here. There's a quite a big parking lot over there. You could park and then just enjoy the view, have a picnic or, picnic or something and yeah. 100 kilometers per hour? Yes, we made it. But probably the, the what's it called? The gauge is probably completely off. Should I lift through Schwedenkreuz? I mean, should I break? I don't know. Well, we're keeping it flat, 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 flat. <laughs> All right, on the brakes, maybe a bit too much even. Oh, it was a fourth gear. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually surprised how well this car behaves because it's lifted and on off-road tires but it's still quite direct I've driven far worse off-road cars this is really good this is really really good okay oh we're doing 120 through Foxhall oh my god 130 ah! <laughs> I should break I gonna break just for the sake of safety <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we jump for the traffic behind us. <laughs> Come on, don't make me go straight through Adenal Forest. But I will take the curb. <laughs> Off we go. I hope auto addiction was there. Hello. <laughs> Amazing. More traffic behind us, Metzgesfeld. Yeah, yeah, you can flash your big lights at me all you want. I'll catch up with you in the next corner anyway. <laughs> if it starts snowing all of a sudden, of course, then I will catch up. But until then. Yes, 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 come on, come on. <laughs> this car has phenomenal driving dynamics, I kid you not. I really expect it far worse. I just hope we're not gonna like tip over or something. That's I didn't consider that that that's a possibility. <laughs> but a bit wet here, true miss hit miss. Uh true piff puff for now, I'm for just sorry. Should not confuse it. Uh, on the brakes here. And tearing in. Miss hit and to the outside. What gear are we in? I already forgot, doesn't matter. We're in some gear that the car goes well. Second gear through Wehrseifen. The good thing about this car is that we also don't need to go on through, 
pay attention to speed limit probably. <laughs> My head still hurts from laughing. This, this is really amazing. Dum, 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 dum. Oh, actually, we are doing 100. Okay, let's just slow down a bit to see what's up. All good. All safe. Uh, there's a Porsche behind us. GT4, an MR even. Second gear, X Miller, off we go, come on! Hi, 36. <laughs> yes, 5000 RPM! Forget about the GT4 RS. Oh, look at this phenomenal. Oh, wow, that's beautiful, the 964. Right. The beauty about driving slow cars is that you have so much time to enjoy other things on track like other cars or people almost didn't have to brake for here I can guarantee that mood curve with this car is flat so but until then we're going to have a pretty long way ahead of us so let's see if we can spot something that we usually would not be able to spot hmm well I'm staying completely on the right side for in case there's going to be a faster traffic but with a slow car, usually you need to stay on the inside a lot to reduce the radius. So for example, here usually you would be on the right completely, but with slow car, if it's possible, stay on the left to reduce the radius. And then you have the least distance traveled, so you don't have to waste your precious horsepower on, on turns. The owner also told me avoid fifth gear, because once you engage it, the speed will just drop. This is also what we are not even in the fourth gear. I think I'm in fourth. I'm pretty sure I'm in fourth. I have, I don't know. The RPM seems to be fine. So, but even they are dropping at this point. 997. Hello. Oh no. 991. <laughs> Mood curve flat. Woo! <laughs> oh come on! Don't die on me. Okay. Oh, but we're in third. We were in third! I'm not gonna downshift the second the mood curve, come on. Uh, all right, okay. Two more cars behind us, for which we're going to let them pass. Dum, dum, dum. Nice Corsa. I think it's a Corsa. Three, two, five. <sighs> Should I break for this? Maybe, for Stein Strecke. Chug it in! Towards the curbstone, probably maybe even downshifts, but I think we're good for now. Lots of sun, you can full like have hill climb dance, Ari Vatanen moves here. But at this speed, I, I could also do the section blind, honestly. <laughs> Should I brake for the carousel or just keep it flat? I don't know. Ah, I just lift. Now, okay, I'm gonna brake. <laughs> Martin is here. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna be broke on all the race tracker pictures for this car. <laughs> oh, phenomenal. Well, I guess all the way from here is probably flat towards like Vipman, I would say. So this is goes without saying flat. Uh, am I gonna be overtaken by a Marshall car? Honestly, well, I guess I am, and I'm still gonna be flat on the gas even through the outside. <laughs> and the car will just slow down by itself for whole act. Perfect. You don't need to brake, you don't need to downshift. This is like autopilot by itself. Off we go. Right curbstone. Some traffic catching up with us. Behind. And another Marshall car also will be overtaking us at some point. Well, obviously, I'm doing the full on Vipaman challenge with this. It goes without saying. So, left curb. Off we go. O1. And pull on the second. Yes. And the, the biggest frustration of the day is that there is no no photographer there. Oh well, you cannot have everything in life, but you can have a lap of the Nürburgring in the Lada Niva. Off we go. Let's please the crowd at Brunchen.
doing like my own private escort service or something. <laughs> it could be. And we're gonna have a jump at Flats Garden. I sure hope. We're gonna take the curb. <laughs> Garden 2, off we go. Oh, so much sun, I hope you guys still can see stuff. One more car behind us, we're keeping it flat through Bell of S. Oh, it's our friend Francois with Philip. <laughs> I could put it in fourth, but it's just gonna slow down the car, so we're not going to do that. Probably don't even need to brake here. Just gently lift. Going to Schwabenschwanz. Off we go. Uh, car slowing down by itself. Also for the mini carousel. Ah! <laughs> that was a big drop. <laughs> gonna pass me now after all these times well go for it bro <laughs> the battle of the titans what gear am i in i don't know it's fine it's the last lap and last corner of the track anyway <laughs> Whee! yes we made it amazing Actually, go too slow. Okay, fifth gear, and we're good. Wow, <laughs> time for a verdict. Let's see if we get pulled over for disrespecting track limits or something. Sometimes it happens. Not today. That's good. So, I wonder what was up in Brunchen. Why did the marshal really slow us down? Well, maybe it was not for us, but just because we're something else, but you might never know. When yeah, he was uh, showing me the suspension on the car. Ah, cool. How was it? It was amazing, man. <laughs> it was. It's good fun, huh? Dude, it's awesome. It's I, actually quite compliant, the car, right? It's. I'm actually. I'm honestly surprised by the way the car handles. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Because was, you think it's lifted on off-road tires, it yeah. should. That's what I was thinking. Like, like when I was driving it, like I drove what um, about. 1200 kilometers already? Yeah. And like, yeah man, it's really like uh, comfy and... Yeah, cool. No, it's, it's really good. I look forward to seeing the video, man. I think it's going to be epic. <laughs> well, that was amazing. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the lap. I honestly, like I said, I was very surprised. Let me quickly take my helmet up so you can talk to you and see you i was very surprised by the way the car behaved by the way the car handled it was something that i really did not expect from being a lifted car and um yeah with off-road tires no a lot of engineering the neva is probably still simply the best off-road car in the world and now it also has proven to be a very capable track car because off-road and track you need to have good suspension for different purposes you need to have as little weight as possible and just have lots of fun as well and that's what it's all about so it's been amazing makes me want one even more now and obviously it's also winter is coming now so that would be a great winter beater the problem is they're quite expensive but then again you get what you pay for i hope you guys enjoyed this video and uh, if you have a lada or a volga i still want to lap a volga a gas a gas 21 or a gas 24 um, yeah, let me know. I would definitely would love to make this dream come true of mine, my little dream. But until then, keep dreaming, keep following, subscribing, liking, sharing, you know it. Um, thanks for watching and see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.